Okay, sixth grade, lesson 16. This is on rounding whole numbers and then also estimating. All right, um, let's first talk about, uh, let's, I'm just going to put a number on the board. Okay, and if I told you to round this number to the nearest thousand, what I'm asking you to do is what? If I tell you to round it. Uh, summing, or like... Okay. Seven. Hmm. It would be 7,000. It would be 7,000. So, you look at, this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So, I have 6,789. So, in between which two thousands is this? This number? Uh, 6,000 and 7,000. 6,000 and 7,000. And so, 6,789 um, would be closer to 7,000 because... What would be in the middle? Uh, 6,500. 6,500. And 6,789 would be somewhere right in here. So it definitely is closer to 7,000 rather than 6. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember you always um, look to the number to the right, and if it's 5 or higher, you round this up. Do you remember that rule? If you don't remember that rule, you can just do it by this. Okay, let's do another one that I want to teach you. Okay, this one says to round to the nearest hundred. So, ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, they're wanting me to round this to the nearest hundred. Okay, so between which two hundreds would this be? Um, 500 and... 600? Very good. Okay. 500 and 600. And what would be our middle number? 550. 550. Okay. It happens to be the exact same number. Okay. So when it is the middle number or more, it goes you always right. go to the, the greater number. So this one would be 600. You got that? Mm -hmm. Now, this one is going to get a little bit harder. Okay. Because I'm going to put a number 667. But I'm not wanting you to round it to the nearest hundred. I'm wanting you to round it to the nearest ten. Now that doesn't make sense, but I want you to just stay with me for a minute. So what is this? Ones, tens, right? Yep. And if I'm wanting to round this to the nearest tens, seven. I leave this part alone for a minute. So I'm working with this number because it's my tens, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, so let's pretend like this number is not there for just a minute. Between which two tens is this number? 60 and 70. 60 and 70, okay? And what would be my middle number? It would be 65. Very good, okay? And so if it's 67, is it closer to 70, 70 or 60? 70. 70, very good. So we would erase this and write 70. And then you would leave your 6 there. Because you still want the whole number, but you're only working with the 10s. Okay. You get it? Okay. Now, another way I have taught this before, and some people like it better, is 667. Because I'm working with the 10s, 1s, 10s, I underline it. Okay. Okay? Then I look to the right of that number that I've underlined, and I say, is it 5 or higher? If it is, I change the number to 7, and everything else behind it becomes zero. Okay. If it was 664, then I'm working with my tens, and I look to the number to the right. Is it five or higher? No. No. So then I would leave six as six, and add zeros, tens, and everything else. That's the way some people like to do it. Okay? You can do it whichever way you want. Okay. Okay? But you still want to keep this number because... We're working, we still need the whole number. Yeah. Okay, you get that? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the word estimate is the last thing I'm going to teach you. And to estimate is you're going to, when I tell you to estimate, you're going to take the numbers in the problem, round them first, then answer. That's what it means to estimate. To round first your numbers and then answer the problem. Got it? Because mm -hmm. sometimes they may say, um, 
answer the problem and then round to the nearest 10. Okay? Estimate means you round first and then answer instead of answering first and then rounding. Okay. Okay? So, here's what they tell me to do. They tell me to estimate the sum of 467 and 312. That's what they want me to do. They want me to estimate the sum of 467 and 312. Now, before we get into estimating these, I want to know what is sum asking me to do? This word sum. I think to find the sum of. I think it's the answer to addition. A Adding problem. Very good. It's the answer to an adding problem. So they're wanting me to add these numbers. Right? Okay. But am I supposed to answer first and then round it or round it and then answer it? If you're estimating that it's round. Then I'm estimating because I'm rounding. Okay? When they ask you to round, here's what you always do. What is my greatest place value? Ones, tens, hundreds. Hundreds. What is my greatest place value here? Ones, tens, hundreds. So they're wanting me to round these numbers to the greatest place value. That's what estimation is. So what would this be rounded to? Um, four, no, 500. Right, because 467 is in between which two hundreds? 400 and 500. 400 and 500, good. And 450 would be down here. Whoops. 450 would be this one, right? So 467 would go which way? Towards the 500. So I'm going to change this to 500, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the next one, 312. 300. It's going to round to 300. We did the same thing. You can set it up on that scale, 300, 400, and then try to figure out. Now, now they're wanting me to find the sum of this and this. So I'm going to do so what? So you add them? 500 plus 300, and I would get 800. So the estimated is 800. You feel like you understand? Yep. Okay, last thing. This is just a chart to look at, okay? And here's what the chart looks like. Oops, one more. There we go. Okay, now. Right here they have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? And here's what they tell me. The population in thousands. What do I mean by that? It's in parentheses. Do you know what I mean by that? Po population in thousands? So, that means 2,000. 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. What does it mean by population? Population, how many people are in a city or whatever we're going to be looking at. And I'm going to fill in the rest. Okay? This is the population of Ashton from the years, I don't know where Ashton is. Okay? From the years 1970 to 2000. Okay? So watch what happens. I've got 1970 here. 1980 here, 1990, and 2000. Okay, and it's a bar graph. So watch what happens. Okay. Now here's the question. According to this graph, about how many more people lived in Ashton in 2000 than in 1980? So we're wanting to know this one and this one. About how many more people lived in Ashton in 2000 than in 1980? Well, Four. how many people lived in 1980? Four. Four thousand. Four thousand people lived in 1980, okay? And in 2000, how many people lived? Uh, 7,000. 7,000, okay? And so the question, excuse me, the question is, about how many more people lived in Ashton 
in 2000 than in 1980. About how many more people? So it went from 4,000 to 7,000. So about how many more people lived? Three. 3,000. So we took 7,000 the, the later year, or the, the um, most number minus the least number, and we get 3,000. So the answer is about 3,000 more people lived in Ashton in 2000 than in 1980. You get it? How mm -hmm. you would read that? Now, this is the most important because I would have, you may have answered uh, 7 minus 4 and put 3, but it's not 3 people. Yeah. 3,000. So it's very important that you pay attention to what how things are labeled, okay? That is lesson 16.